Hi guys, my name is Tuti. Thank you so much for joining us here today in Tuti's Kitchen. <laughs> One day I'm joking. I'm a chef chef and uh, shout out to my friend Shilando because he's the one who taught me this recipe. So I hope that I can explain it well enough to you guys, but I probably won't. So I will put it down in the description box and I hope that you can make it and that you can enjoy it and that we can all be fat together. So if you're new to my channel, thank you so much for coming. Um, yeah. And if you are a returning subscriber, my G, welcome back. I missed you. Love you so much. Okay, yeah. And also we appreciate the shrinkage. Shout out to all my natural sisters. You're doing great things. <laughs> yeah. So, um... We had load shedding. We have no water in the in the water in the electric kettle. <laughs> Started already with the mince meat. It's uh, the one in here. Yeah, it's juicy. It's really juicy. Imagine if I drop it. <laughs> there you go. Um, so that's ready for our lasagna. And let me show you how I made it. We're gonna try and cook this in the dark. But I just wanted to show you guys some of the ingredients so that when you are preparing your lasagna, obviously you can make your own variations, especially if you think this is for heathens. Yeah. Um, yes. So there's three types of cheese. And I'll lie if I tell you which one is which, but I know for a fact that is mozzarella. That uh, Those two are cheddar and gouda. However you pronounce it, wherever you come from. Yes. That's neat. Uh, something. Oh, the phone is upside down. The mincemeat has a lot of fat in it, so I haven't put any cooking oil. I'm just going to put some water so that it doesn't get stuck to the pan. Spice for mint is a must. Like, even if you don't have mincemeat, <laughs> you should have spice for mint. And, 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 and of course, mixed herb. Mixed herb you can mix with almost everything, you guys. Heaven. I wish the video could capture the aroma, my mom says, not the smell. Mm -hmm. oh, it smell bad though. Let me tell. I'm not measuring. I'm so sorry. I'm literally so sorry. I know I'm supposed to be measuring, but I'm just not. Because, like, I really don't care. That looks it's great. Ready. Oh, I smell it ready because I haven't put the wines. So, I'm just going to put a little bit just to keep it... Okay, I don't know. Chilando, why do we put wine? more water so that when it goes into the oven it doesn't get dry imagine dry lasagna and after i do that i'm going to start laying it in this uh tray that are you on on awesome so i'm going to lay it lay lay it here is the cheese i hope you are a cheese person i'm a cheese person yeah let's do this mommy do have an apron here Oh, and I just wanted to give a shout out to my dad because when I started making the food, there was only one box of lasagna sheets. So I called him and he was like, so does that mean that I have to, oh, he wasn't here, but it's like, does that mean that I have to drive wherever to get another one? So I was like, anyway, it's okay, you don't have to. And then he brought more. So, okay. So the first thing on the list is impua. I don't like impua. I don't think I've ever tasted impua before. If I have, I was strict. Um, it has a bitter taste, so I hear, I just, and I don't mean to offend anyone. Oh, by the way, I should have said a disclaimer, my opinion. Yeah. Secondly, I don't like Lumanda. Uh, it's bitter. My mom loves it and she eats it all the time. In her language, it's called Busi. Oh, there's an apron. <laughs> Thank you. Why did you come and say hi? Why did you bring me an apron? Hi. Thank you. <laughs> it's big. Chef two, uh, offals, chief tribe, whatever you call it in your language, um, the val, val, whatever, those things that do this in the intestines. Oh my god! I used to be able to eat, but um, I think when I got to secondary school and I realized what they actually are, I just, I was just like, Ugh. so I need to just wet these just so that. They get cooked for sure. You never know. 
But anyway, back to cheese. Oh my gosh. Like I can eat. I can. I'm not allergic or anything. But I'd rather not. There was a time I went to my dead sister's house. And I really wanted to come home. I really, really wanted to come home. But we had to stay to eat. And then they cooked cheese, you guys. Yeah. But I ate. I, okay, I only ate the gravy. How do you people eat mopani worms, tinguala? What are they called? Caterpillars. You know, my uncle was like, I'll give you money if you try out one. And as much as I needed that money, I was just like, it's such a delicacy. And I'm like, uh, okay, sis, with the weird taste, but so I'm going to put all that mince meat back inside because the sheet should be at the bottom so that it doesn't, you get what I mean, right? Off the top of my head, this is something I don't like eating. Oh, dry fish, and they like it at my place, you guys. Oh my god, nothing wrong with it. I'm not allergic to it. It has a strong smell, but it's a bearable smell. It's yeah, but I just nah, I can't. Like, if there's nothing else, to, uh, even then, I'll just eat the gravy. I will just eat the gravy. And then, funny thing is, I do not like chiwanti, and it's a delicacy where I hail from in the southern province. Everybody loves you want to like me. I only drink it when I go see my grandmother. My mom was actually just drinking some. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so it's like a, a, a meal. It's a drink, but it's like a meal because it's feeding. And then you have to put sugar and it's just, it's just, it's not for me. The last thing on my list of traditional food is Mavisi. Mavisi, Mavisi. So it's another delicacy, I think, where I come from. To have uh, sour milk is what Mavisi is. To eat sour milk and um, shima. So we put the first um, layer. I think the mozzarella has to go on top. Again, I don't know why, but this is what we're doing. Shout out to the organized family, the owners of this song. Time to put the second layer. Now, the lasagna is ready to go in the oven. I don't know how long for. Like I said, I'm a chef, but we keep checking to see if it's okay. When I do that, and let me tell you about my favorite traditional food. So, number one on the list is obviously village chicken. I don't know if it's a village chicken at my house, you guys. And um, second, kalembula. You guys, kalembula. Yeah. So kalembula is basically sweet potato leaves. Favorite, absolute favorite. If you ask Rafida, you could eat it every day, over and over again. The next thing I would eat every every day, over and over again, is chimpapila. And chimpapila is our is our beans leaves. Really, really tasty. Uh, especially when mixed with grounds. Mommy, what's the time? 9.30? What? Damn, let's go. It's now 9.30 and I'm going to check again after 10 minutes. But, um, you have to get us. I started with Tim Papi already, oh. my favorite. <laughs> Even red. Oh, Chihuahua. How could I forget? Chihuahua pumpkin leaves. Even Lumanda, but not very much. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, those are my favorite at home. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to tell you guys that I'll be opening a restaurant. <laughs> jokes, jokes, jokes. But um, completely contrary to what you may be thinking right now, I'm not a picky eater. Whatever is cooked, I eat. I was just telling you guys what my favorites are. And okay, the ones I don't like, I don't eat. I won't even like. But. Um, we make we make do. We go eat your bites, and uh, yeah, I hope you guys are eating your vegetables, drinking your water. You guys, the cheese, the cheese. These are going back to not me. I don't even want to eat it. I just want to keep it to look at it and. <laughs> I hope that you learned something. But Mandy, just the recipe is going to be in the description box and the procedure. I hope I can get it down properly. But yeah, 
I'm gonna enjoy. <laughs> Thanks for watching my video. She goes by Tootsie, and the name it sounds like Fruity. She's so artistic, when she smiles it's just like Marchie.